Welcome to my top 10 favorite Super NES games. We have finally reached number one. Super Mario World. And in my last video, I mentioned that we weren't going to be doing my number one video until Sunday. It's actually Monday, so... Not the Monday after the Sunday, it's the Monday before the Sunday, so I'm, yeah, I'm six days early. That's because I got off work an hour early today, so that gives me time to play, and... So, and plus, since I'm playing this on the Wii, I can continue from where I left off. Every time I get a chance. Tomorrow I'm getting off pretty early. I'm working 6 in the morning to 2.30, so I'll have time to play tomorrow, too. Welcome to this dinosaur land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Okay, it's kind of quiet. Okay, that was probably the biggest fail I've ever done at this game. Die, fool. Now, I've already done a full playthrough of this game, so I guess I really don't have to explain it. Kind of close. I'll go ahead and explain some things though. That was kind of close too. See, in this game you press you press Y to run. X I believe runs too. Press B to jump. Press A to do a spinning jump. See, here's a regular jump. Here's the spinning jump. The spinning jump you use to break blocks like this. It also has some other different features. Right there's a midway marker. So that way if I die up here, I'll start, when I play this board again, I'll start at the midway marker. So you know, when I do a regular jump in these guys, it takes two hits. If I do a spin jump, it's just one can throw shells upward as whoops. Okay, now if you carry the shell to the end of the stage, it'll... Oh, that was a fail. Anyways, if I would have carried it to pass the midway marker, the shell would have turned into another... Whoa! Turned into another fire flower. When I break the tape, I get bonus stars. The higher the tape, the more bonus stars you get. When you get 100, you get to play a bonus game. Yeah, I got this game with my Super Nintendo for Christmas in 1993, which was just slightly over 20 years ago. Not the same Super Nintendo right now, I'm actually playing this on the Wii. Get these P blocks, just like Super Mario Bros. 3. See, in my Donkey Kong Country video, I mentioned how that game was so much like this game. I don't like it when games copy off others, but that was a classic game. The amazing graphics and all the fun bonus stages that that game made up for the part I didn't like. This is one of the games, one of the few games I can actually beat. 
my last video, I did Super Mario All-Stars. I beat Super Mario Bros. 2 and Super Mario Bros. 3, but I couldn't beat the first game. I've never beaten that in my life. Or the Japanese version. Super Mario Bros. 2, The Lost Levels. I guess on the Super NES, it's just called Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. See, here's Yoshi, I mentioned that in the Donkey Kong Country game. Oh, it's on now, fool. These are information blocks. Pretty much gives you all these little tips, but... We don't need to look at them all again. So I'm already explaining it. That was a dinosaur coin I got. If you collect five in one, one stage, you get an extra life. See, there's number five right there. See, next to the 17 right above my head, those four little weird looking things, those are the dragon coins I collected. When I collect this fifth one here, it'll be an extra life. Cool. Yeah, when you get hit on Yoshi, it counts as like an extra hit. You lose the Yoshi, you can jump back on him. This third one here is an extra life. The rest are all coins. If Yoshi holds an item in his mouth too long, he'll swallow it. By the way, when you're on Yoshi, you press the Y button to shoot your tongue out. Press the A button to jump off of them. Press the B button, you both jump together, so that's kind of a cool feature. These exclamation yellow blocks are all going to have mushrooms in them. Anytime you get a red shell and you spit it, Yoshi spits it out, it's going to be fireballs. Blue shells make him fly when he's got it, got it in his mouth. Cool. Okay, now I've got another fire flower at the top of the screen, so if I get hit... First of all, well, I have to be off of Yoshi. So if I'm if I'm not on Yoshi and I get hit, I lose the fire flower that I currently have, and the one in the box at the top drops down. I gotta catch it. Sometimes it's a coin, sometimes it's, it's natural life. I don't know what I have to do to make it natural life. Just like all Mario games from this game previous, they got the points up there. And I've never understood that with Nintendo games or Super Nintendo games. Why have points? I mean, nobody keeps track of the points. It has no effect on you. I can understand some games where a certain amount of points you get extra lives and all that good stuff, but... play like an hour tonight, do one video. Whoa! Okay, that was nasty. Oh! He just committed suicide. Yoshi, you fool. Great, now I'm not going to be able to get that. Oh, yeah, I can. Use this thing here. 
world. Okay, I'm not used to playing like this. Usually I'm on Yoshi. I usually don't screw up like that. Definitely not looking forward to work tomorrow because I gotta work in a different department which is extremely boring, but I'm looking forward to getting off a little earlier than usual. I'm not looking forward to getting up at four in the morning to go in at six. This is kinda cool the stage right here. As long as you stay in the fence, you keep getting points. It's just like in the original Super Mario Brothers, where you keep jumping on that turtle shell for all the extra lives. Oh, that was a fail. If you touch the ground, you screw it up and you're going to start all over, so... See, it's back at 200. I'm just totally failing in this game. I hate it when that happens. There will be games I play that are like the easiest games to me. I beat all the time. And like... look like Wayne Gretzky playing them. And all of a sudden, I just keep failing so bad. Every, every now and then. You want to flip on the other side with this thing? Sorry, I avoided touching the ground that time. So now everyone I touch will be an extra life. You gotta get them from the top though. If you hit them from the bottom, it count as a hit against you. It is almost impossible to get to the end of this game without having 99 extra lives. They're not stingy in this game. You don't want to get crushed between the side of the screen and that block or you'll die. One thing that everyone hates about auto scrolling stages. Pretty easy. See the fireballs hit hit the boss. The boss falls whichever way it's tilting towards. So if you start shooting at him and jumping on him right away, you can beat him that quick. Mario's defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in, in an egg. Together they now travel to Donut Land. Now you jump on these guys here. You get this feather. And now I have the ability to fly, which is kind of like the raccoon suit in Super Mario Bros. 3. Except for instead of... Whoa. Okay, that was kind of cool. Instead of, instead of tapping the button constantly, you just hold it down. You keep spinning your cape too and attacking them. You get a bunch of coins right here. Just push, push back and forth on the control pad to go like the guide them kind of. Yoshi right here. Anytime you hit a, a block that's got Yoshi in it, if you already have Yoshi, it'll be an extra life instead. That's where the 
keep dust to them guys. There's a dinosaur coin up there, but I didn't collect the other one, so I guess it doesn't matter if I get it. Yeah, the guy with the flashing cape right there, the brownish colored cape, he's the one that you get a feather out of. Every once in a while, they get save points whenever you beat like a world or ghost house, which we will see, or a castle, a mini castle. Oh, cool. Huh. Another auto-scrolling stage. These are always annoying. I gotta say, though, ever since Super Mario Brothers 3, I had a Quite a wide variety of stages. See now, if I would have gotten all the coins in that one multi-coin block, that would have also been a multi-coin block. Idiot! That didn't look like I lost Yoshi before he even touched me. Die, fools. There's a mushroom in there, but I don't want the mushroom because I already got a feather. Some of these stages have two exits. See the red dots on the map? Those ones have two exits, so each exit leads to a different area. Oh, this, here's something cool you can do here. As long as I don't screw it up, just keep jumping on them, stay in the air, just like on that fence thing. Okay, that one. Whoa! Okay, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do it. Anyways, you keep jumping on them. Stay near long enough, you get extra lives. How many times did I fail at doing what I normally do all the time when I play this game? Is it like three or four times now? I've played this game so many times that it's almost like I could play it with my eyes closed. It's but just the way it feels. I mean, if I actually tried it, I know I'd do terrible. But it's just one of those games that you play so much, it's just, you don't have to think to beat it, it's just habit. And most of the things I do in this game, I do the same thing all the time, but for some reason, I'm just failing at it. There's a mushroom that I don't want. That was close. You idiot. I'm not going to go down that pipe this time. That was close. Okay, right, cool.
green, those green blocks I got created all these green blocks. Idiot. Okay, you guys are all dead now. See, once you kill them, you don't have to worry about them coming back. There's the other exit. There's a lot of, like, double exit levels right around this area. This is another one. Yeah, there's three different types of fish in this game. There's the kind that go back and forth. The kind that just go all the way from the right, right of the board to the left, like that guy right there. Right, left, or left, right, vice versa. And you got the sleeping ones that wake up and chase after you. I used to be really good at this part where at the top of the board I would jump and spin down and I'd be able to land right on Yoshi every time. I used to be able to do it all the time. It seems like about the last few years that I played, I haven't been able to do it. After this game, I'll be done with my top 10 favorite Super NES games. I'm going to go back to regular uploads of just games we haven't seen yet. One game I have is Jurassic Park on the Super NES. I got a bunch of NES games. Actually, I'm going to skip that this time because there's another dragon coin I can get. See, if the fish hit you from the bottom, you won't fall. Oh, I thought there was another dragon coin. I guess there isn't. I could do the bonus game. I just passed 100 stars. I don't know why stars are so popular with the Mario games. You get your invincibility star. Okay, anyways, you want to play tic-tac-toe, the only match I got with the three mushrooms on top. Anyways, in Super Mario Bros. 3, match the three cards. If you match three stars, you get five extra lives. Same thing with the spinning items. We got to match the three pictures. In this game, you get stars for breaking the tape at a certain area. You get, in the next game, the N64 game, you collect power stars. Back to the stage. Okay, see that time I got all the coins? So that other coin block will be all a bunch of coins. Hey, okay, press down and slide down hills. Anyways, as for regular NES games, I've got Ghostbusters Part 2. I 
I've got a whole bunch of them I can't think of. I Final Fantasy. I've never played Final Fantasy before, so that'll be interesting. I've heard the name so many times. So apparently it must be a popular game. And I got WWF WrestleMania. This is a game I used to play a lot back in my earlier days. Oh, fool. I don't think Yoshi's coming back. I think there's a cliff at the end. If there's an object like a pipe, he'll run back. But if there's nothing there, a cliff, he'll just keep on running until he runs off of it. It's not the brightest crane in the box. And you don't want to go up there right away because it slows down you end up getting crushed. After this stage, I'm going to grab my NES games and take a look at the other ones. I mentioned them before in the other videos, but... Some people might have missed those videos. I'm also planning on doing another project, too, after I don't have any NES games to play. I'm going to do Goldeneye again, except for I'm going to do each, like, one video per stage. Okay, the NES games. Oh, I got Monopoly too. I forgot to mention. I did done Monopoly on the PS2. It's actually my number one most watched video. I did Monopoly on the Super NES, now I'm going to be doing Mon Monopoly on the NES. Got Dr. Mario. That's one Mario game we haven't seen on my channel yet. Home Alone. I already mentioned Ghostbusters Part 2. I did Ghostbusters Part 1 on my channel like about a year ago. Friday the 13th, which I have never played. Championship Bowling, I'm not sure. I don't remember playing that, but it might have when I was younger. and Cubert. Those are the games we have to look forward to. Here's the ghost house. There are quite a few of these ghost houses in here. In my Super Mario Kart video, the one that most recent one I did, I was talking about how they get have these ghost houses. And there's actually like a racing board that's like a ghost house, which is pretty cool. See, whatever you press on the directional buttons is where the coins go. If you run into the wall or into the coins, it'll stop. So you gotta be careful where you guide it. Otherwise, you just keep going until it stops on its own. See, now, this can be kind of confusing at first if you keep doing this. You keep going in the door and you can't figure out, you keep getting the P, you can't figure out where to go. Well, if you skip that P, and go in the door a second time. You get a different... It's like a different stage where it's got a vine. They look exactly the same, but... One's got the pea black, the other one's got the vine. I don't know why there's so many peas in the Mario game. You got those pea wings in Super Mario Bros. 3 where you keep flying. You got those P blocks to step on. Okay, we're going to do the other exit this time. I 
it's funny how people complain about games not making sense. It's like Super Mario Super Mario Brothers should I mean probably the first game most people played on the NES should be an indication that video games don't have to make sense. I mean you're a plumber trying to save a princess, shooting fireballs underwater. I mean you breathe for like a really long, really long time underwater. Shooting fireballs at fish. I bet this guy doesn't need a fishing pole when he goes fishing. This is kind of cool. You hold the Y button down to keep a hold of the P block. Once you let go of Y, you'll let go of the P block. You press the X button to also shoot fireballs. Y and X shoot fireballs. So it's kind of cool. You can hold an item and still shoot fire. Every, anytime you hold an object to you float upward. I mean, you think holding a big gold key would make you sink, but no, you float in this game. Here's another ghost house. have the feather, but I'm currently using fire, so I can get my, you press select button, feather drops out of the box and collect it, so it's kind of cool, you can trade between items, that was kind of close. Just like Super Mario Brothers 3, if you turn your back on the ghosts, they'll come after you. You can beat the game really quick if you go this way. I'm not going to do that though, I'm going to do a full playthrough of the game. See this leads to the Star World. Through the Star World... See, so, I could beat these Star Worlds and move from star to star. Each star leads to a different place on the board. And... You can, like, go to the far star, the one to my right, far right, lower corner. That one leads to about right outside Bowser's castle. Take a look at the stars here. Go back to the regular map. Press the start button, and you can move around take a look at the map. So there's World 1, where I just did World 2. Now the star, the next star is inside that vanilla dome right there. You can't see it because it's inside. The next start after that, you go across this bridge and down the water, and it's located down here. Then there's another star. You go to Castle Foreign and down here. And right outside that castle, not the one with the five next to it, but the other one, there's a star right there. You just can't see him yet. And the last star is... Well, there's World 6 right there, and then you go up this way through those little icebergs there comes up a big ship with Bowser and inside that is the last star. Might be kind of confusing now but it's easier to understand when I get there. We're going to go back to this ghost house and we're going to take a different exit. You know it's weird I never knew about this until just like within the last year or so that you go up this way. I'm 
not going to bother get breaking the tape anymore because there's really no need to play the bonus game. We'll get 99 extra lives by the end of the game no matter what. There's a cool little stage up here that I never knew about until just this last year. You got fire flowers there, you got Yoshi here. Feathers here. If you don't have fire flowers or the feather when you come in here, though, you get mushrooms. You walk to the left or right to exit the screen. by this ghost house again and take the other exit. You can't take Yoshi into a castle or into a ghost house with you. Oh, fool. Get a good run here, you could fly. Plus that idiot sneaks up on you. I guess we have to do it the boring way. I want to get at least some of those planes out of the way right there. this door. That's the other way to beat the beat that level. Yeah, this takes to do an extra little area. This is kind of cool. You go this way. And there we get a sneak peek at World 7 Bowser's, Bowser's Castle. Is. That star will appear to the left of that bridge. things. Yeah, see, that guy's going to keep coming back unless you kill him. If I was quick enough, that would be a star right there. Oh. Yeah, the icy levels are just like World 4 of Super Mario Bros. 2 or World 6 of Super Mario Bros. 3 slide across it. Go through this pipe and it takes you over here. So, okay, we've passed, we've gotten the two exits out of the way for each one. I'm thinking maybe I should play the Star World, but okay, here's with the blue Yoshis. 
you can fly with those. And like I mentioned earlier, if you hold them too long, you'll swallow them. But if you press down in the Y button, you'll spit them out right on the ground. You can pick them back up again. And the time limit of how long you can hold them in your mouth starts over. You see Yoshi starting to bop his head back and forth. That means he's going to be spitting them out. Like right there. I didn't have anywhere to spit them. Fun bonus stage. You have to get the correct pattern down. Fail. You get the correct pattern, you get an extra life that pops out of the third block. Now, I don't know if the patterns are the same. If they got a certain, like, pattern you do. Might just be random too. This guy, you want to eat right away, otherwise he tries to ruin your day. And yeah, when you got the yellow shell in your or the yellow shell in your mouth, you stomp. That's weird, the Goombas are weird looking in this game. Come on, fool. side of an area like this it sticks some areas you shoot it in a bigger area it does that yeah see it's where the goombas don't smash like they do in the last two games Yoshi you are you know, really annoying All Mario games, you got a timer. Huh? That roar sound you might have just heard is the heater I had to turn on because it's kind of cold. Castle number two. Those are thwimps. The bigger ones are called thwomps. Whoa, that was really close. Those are thwomps right there. Dry bones. You know, some re a recurring character from Super Mario Bros. Uh, 2 in this game. 
are the ninjis, but you only see them on one stage, and it's the very last stage. And their name aren't in the like ending credits. You know how like, they get all the characters in the like ending credit things? Otherwise, all the other characters in this game, I'm pretty sure, are just from, like, Super Mario Brothers 1 and 3. And, of course, some new ones. But you don't see the Shy Guys anymore, the Sniffets. Bob Arms did come back in Super Mario Bros. 3. See, they show something different after each stage. Like, it defeats the castle a different way. You got a different saying at the bottom. Warden and Kooten Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next area is the underground vanilla dome. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will become of Princess Toast Duels? You see, now in the original game, it was so boring, it was so repetitive. I said, thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. It was like the same ending every time. All the boards look so similar, so the game's really advanced from the first one. It's like the first game, it seemed like they just had like, they did artwork for like maybe six or seven different levels, and all they did was move things around, add more obstacles to each one, move the pipes in different places, put bad guys in different places, so... Like world, for example, world one, two, and four, two are pretty much the same blue brick areas in the first game. Just a little bit different. This game they got a huge wide, like different variety. The background is pretty cool too. They didn't, they didn't have all this background in the original games until they made the All-Star version 16-bit and they added it, which I mentioned in the last video. This game, the star has little s sparkles behind it. So it looks like they did upgrade on the stars. This way. It's not over there. If you go to SNE. Whoops, okay, I wasn't there either. If you go to SNESMaps.com, it's got quite a few Super Nintendo games. It shows all that stuff. I hope, I'm hoping I can beat Castle 3 by the end of this video. I've only got 10 minutes. 
these fish out of water won't hurt you. But anyways, there's nesmaps.com which has a bunch of NES games and shows like the maps. And it's got them really well labeled. I'm going to drop Yoshi right here and lose him. You can't take him with you up the vine. You idiot. Anyways, yeah, I highly recommend checking out nesmaps.com and snesmaps.com. red cap switch, but it looks pink to me. Here's another one of these boards where you can jump on them. It's e this one's easier because the Koopas are confined to a smaller area. You jump on every other one. You can keep doing this until you screw up, misjudge it. You can do this forever. I usually end up getting hit and it ruins my day. You can go on. Well, I guess not forever, but you can go on until your timer runs out. You get unlimited lives, but. Like keep going back and forth. But there's really no reason to in this game because, like I said, it's almost impossible to play from the start of the game to the end of the game without getting 99 lives before you get to the end of the game. Let's go the other way now. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this world in... You are nasty. I cannot believe that. How come my cape did not affect him? Six minutes. We'll end up moving into a part two, so I'm never going to be able to beat this world three by the end of this video. So I'll have to hold off on that. Oh, what's on now, fool? Where do you think you're going? After this, this is probably going to be my last. That was nasty. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be my last board for the night. Check this out, this is kind of cool. I'll carry him with me. Ok, 
Okay, I might have time to do one more board after this. I want to do the water board again. Take the other exit this time. And tomorrow I'll be able to do part two, hopefully part three, and part four. I'm sure it's going to be four part game. I don't mind. Original NES and Super NES. This is the longest game I've done. I didn't have any longer games until I got to like the N64. Super Mario 64 and GoldenEye were both pretty long. GoldenEye especially. And then when I got to the PS2, yeah, the Grand Theft Auto games, it took a long time, especially San Andreas. gonna about do it for this video. We still got a little over three minutes left, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and well okay we got time for one more stage. The vanilla ghost house. So when you're playing on the Wii, you don't need to save your progress because the Wii automatically saves it. Like if I hit the menu button right now, I'll save it right at this point. That's what I love about the Wii. So now when you're playing on the original Super NES version and you save your progress, if you quit and come back, you'll be able to play where... I don't think I've ever seen that area up there before. I might have to check into going that way next time. Or this time. Okay, what's that? I have a feeling there's something special about this area if I have the P block. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think I've ever noticed that up there before. That was just gross. the end of this board. Yeah, it's about perfect timing. Hitting the one hour mark right about now, so go ahead and end the game here. Or, I should say end the video here, about here. So I can go to the Wii menu, and that's the end of it, so hope you're enjoying the game, and I'll see you in part two. It looks like my controller's batteries are just about dead. I'll have to replace them before I move on, so... See you in the next video.